What's going on, everybody? It's your boy C Brownie, and we're back with more Honkai Cyril. So, we're gonna continue off where we left off. It's been a while, so I think it's been maybe a week since my last upload for this game. So, we're gonna continue off where we left off, uh, investigating what was going on in Panacani. Panacani? 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 Um, I've update on the news. I've slowly built this team, right? So I built Firefly. I'm still missing two important, two important relics for her, which is this one. I need to get a break effect, and I think it's better if she has speed over attack, but I'm not sure yet. I also managed to pull Ron May, and I also leveled her up. Fully, I also kinda leveled up the, the MC, the Trailblazer. I still need a few, a better, I need better relics for him. But overall, I just, I, same thing, I just need two more relics that I, I've been trying to farm, but it's kinda hard. And then I kinda tweaked my Silver Wolf to do more break damage. She has good crit. Well, not really. She has good break damage, so I'm trying to fix her a little bit. But anyways, let's continue back to the story, and then. Did you guys see it? What's this? So if you're new to the channel, um, my name is C Brownie. Inspection complete. I tend to upload anime Nothing games. Suspicious. Right now, I'm playing. Honkai Star Rail. I'm also playing Dragon Ball Legends and a few other things. Mine, and sorry, my controller has stick drift, so it's been it's been kind of hard. I need to get a new one. Anyway, so yeah, so I played Honkai Star Rail, Dragon Ball Legends, and a few other games on stream and playthroughs. bar now <laughs> let's give it a shake nice it's still busy and has a long shelf life <laughs> that's possible you see soul glad everywhere these days so it wouldn't be a surprise if someone brought a bottle here why don't they sell soul glad in this bar did something happen it's all about the bartender's pride it wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Himeko. So, like I was saying, um, first of all, my name is... Oh, God, i got to stop. First of all, my name is Z Browning. You can call me Z or Browning, if you don't mind. All right, today we're going to play Dragon... Um, Honkai Cyril, right? If you're new to the channel, I tend to I'm an anime lover <sighs> and I tend to just post anime games, right? Anime shorts, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um today we're gonna play <laughs> Honkai Star Rail. We're gonna this is a weekly series that I do, so there are other episodes. So if feel free to watch the whole playlist if you and if it interests you, right? It's a good game. I love it. I'm a firm believer to play I don't I don't play games that are that are meta to say I like to play games that I like and this is one of my favorite games right now personally um yeah never mind let's just hop into the to the store I'm gonna continue from there it's been a long intro that being said mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine just pick your favorite ingredients toss them in a glass mix it up and it's done see this is that's what I forgot to say Personally, I don't like to talk over the dialogue. So if you see me being quiet, it's because I'm actually paying attention and reading. And then I'll give you my thoughts afterwards. So go ahead, explore the bar, and bring me any ingredients you prefer. Nice work. Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor. And the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. So, which one would you like to use as the base?
Decoration. Which style do you prefer? Anything you need, I've got it. The IPC's favorite. Hmm. Ambitious, aren't you? Well, it's done. Here's to you, innovator, with this glass of time to murder and create. To great vengeance. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> so are you satisfied? Oh, the flavors. They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Not Does this true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? <sighs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit, and now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Let's dig deeper into the case, and of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. All right. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the Hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news, and the jerkiest kind at that. She simply vanished, leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality, as if she had never come to Pentaconi at all. Huh? Does that mean... Different? Are you suggesting that girl wasn't actually killed? Come on, aren't you a witness in this case? Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Sorry about that, I had a... Dealt with before, difficulty, so... I had to stop the video really quick, but death let's just carry on. does happen in Penaconi, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penaconi. And thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case. Well, how could I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, 
It's hard to believe that the father of Penacony and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the watchmaker an enemy for a long time, but the hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? So you want to seize this opportunity to expose the watchmaker? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacony, and he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. You don't get it? Well, I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the Watchmaker. Interesting to say the least. I guess everything is always tying back to the watch. Here we are. Clock Studios Theme Park, the most popular entertainment center in Pentecone. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. You know that Penacony used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in their dreams living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price, and sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu, the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacony's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. They just received a lockdown order supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? Huh. So many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? 
I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the watchmaker when I met him, so maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? I'm 13. <sighs> no way! Not even close! Anunu freed the frontier prison. The uh, peace no. still He's eluded what? him. Sorry. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Ostana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion, but rather one of his many children. But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family, but to Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone, but the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony. Even though the true traitors were someone else, while well, they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor. The one responsible for all this, and restore harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog, the family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Well, that's one way to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's title. Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time, for those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacone today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death.
Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else, probably within the Oak family. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy, and now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Speaking of which, that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Yeah, so it's clear that I'm not sure if we even halfway through the story, but a lot is happening. And every episode, the mystery just gets deeper and deeper. So now we know at least some sort of information about the Watchmaker, but we still have too many things that we don't know. Like, what about Akron or what Adventuring said? We also don't know what happened to Firefly and stuff like that. So it's it's getting crazy. Are your Speaking companions Akron, worried about I guess we're switching you? to her um, point of view now. They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. I will say this, I'm enjoying... I'm enjoying the fact that uh so let me use my thank you <laughs> so it's I'm you i'm enjoying the fact that um, our time spent with one another is precious is it? yeah i'm enjoying the fact that they're switching around um point of views from different people i think that acts a, let's a nice, get the formality of silver wolf a nice I'm touch to the to the story Jeez. i guess today i'm lagging my brain is not connected with my, with my the rest of me. But yeah, I enjoy the fact that they're they're basically just so this is what's happening with adventuring. This is what's happening with the trailblazer and this is Akron. Makes you wonder who else we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to play as. Cause by the time I'm guessing when they did this story mode, you these characters weren't out. So the fact that all this is happening means they were, they were easily just giving a preview of what's to come. Off. I hope they keep that in the grand future. mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? This door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. Yeah, so this is what I mean. This is when I, I'm pretty sure this is around the time Akron was out. Screen four. Or had just recently Screen released. Four. That's kind of cool that they did this. I saw, like, Akron, in this game, Akron and Firefly are one of my model in the favorite sand characters. She's the golden isn't it? Maybe so I'm guessing the fact that they're giving us so much... Rest. So many, um... Looks like I was just thinking about what through here, not The fact that they're giving us all this means they want us to do this. Um, for those who don't know, I will just focus on, on the story mode, Screen four. and then I'll just turn back later and finish anything, side quests, or anything like and also, I've always said, if this is something that you guys, 
They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. If there's some, if that's something you guys would like to see, feel free to comment down below, and we'll continue from there. Trick I just crack. Time for a bug. <laughs> I should use adventure instead of several. Yeah, because she's not up for the list. Just for oblivion. That mean I actually I managed to build my Akron correctly. So. He does a bit of damage. May as well kill them all. <laughs> Destiny is up. Relax. This combat. <laughs> this is double speed. Yeah, Memories so, are so far, ever changed. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Um, Good is definitely Never time to say bye. That's Boom. the ones that... Nah, so, Acheron, Soul Wolf, and Firefly. Those have been the ones that... Free will, or what's have been still the ones that... I like. Say bye to breathing. I weep for so, the heart. Acheron was, is definitely top one. Favorite. Um, and Civil Wolf was my first. Five stars. So that's why I'm, I'm fond of her. Look, I dropped something. A uh, note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. Things gonna change this really quick because my Hakar is not built for it. My Sybil is not built for it. Lay out your plans, Memo Keeper. I prefer break damage, so it's gonna like be bad if she gets caught. That's what she lost so much life really fast. No one here either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. If you are a person of thorough and likes to read, um, as soon as I and the rest of the crew were robbed, Robin, Robin so believed it would be me. Yeah. Yeah. If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Yeah, so if you want to read everything it said, you can just pause it. I'll go slowly so you have a chance. But I wasn't going to read that. Sorry. Securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah, time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims I don't see it. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Yeah, so there you have it also if you wanted to read. I'll just try to go slow. Seems neither the Dream Master of Penaconi nor this old Odie is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. 
Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure, there's a lot of internal conflict within the family and everybody has their own agenda. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics... What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here, to ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, He's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sagonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Kataga Avgin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect.
What pretty eyes. Tell me. Do they shock? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Hmm. What do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. Thirty tonbas. The remainder of my... market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. Flirty Thomas, he'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Kakavasha. A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity. And then, <laughs> use them well, child. May your schemes be forever concealed. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gaiathra blesses me? <laughs> That's the case. She must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial... What would come next? What awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or... Will I encounter failure, never to return?
I'm pretty sure that was Kafka, right? Like, telling what? us like her. What? What? Am I dreaming? Or have I gone completely insane? Perhaps both. I've forgotten me already. When you were stressed, Electric chair by a mannequin warlords. Who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the harmony. I'm you. to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand to unveil. You really think you can pull it off? Why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you Exactly, are you? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Kakavasha, I am your future. First, I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Why are there no guests here? What's that featherhead doing? Well, I think this is a perfect time to wrap it up. This is a great cliffhanger. Things are definitely getting more interesting by the minute, and who knows what's gonna happen next. You're gonna have to stay tuned until the next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down, be comment down below your thoughts on the video, and thank you for watching. Till next time. Peace.